Make the most of your John Deere mower, even in the winter season, by adding a snowblower to your lawn tractor with these easy steps. Remember, before installing any attachments or implements, be sure to recognize safety information, understand safety signals, and be familiar with your operator's manual. Before installing your snowblower, you will need to remove the mower deck and front bumper from the tractor. Follow the instructions in the operator's manual before continuing. Now we will install the front hitch. First, find four carriage bolts and four nuts. Next, latch the front hitch mounting brackets over the top of the vehicle axle. Fasten the left bracket to the vehicle frame with two carriage bolts and nuts. Hand tighten. Repeat for the right side. Now, tighten all four nuts. Position the belt drive module under the machine. Lift the belt drive module and latch the slots onto the frame pin on each side of the vehicle. Then while holding the belt drive module, insert a carriage bolt to secure the module. Install the nut to secure. Install the carriage bolt and nut for the other side. Tighten both nuts. Route the cable through the mounting slot and secure with the spring pin. If your tractor has a yellow button to engage the PTO, it's an electric PTO. If your machine has a yellow lever, it's a manual PTO. This step is for manual PTO models only. Put the short end of the engagement spring into the tension arm hole, then put the cable through the hole on the belt drive module. Next, line up the snowblower with the tractor to install the drive belt. Remove the belt guide from the snowblower. Route the drive belt around the pulley like this. Ensure that the belt is not twisted, then reinstall the belt guide. This is a low tension system. Do not be alarmed by low belt tension. Now let's install the snowblower. On each side of the housing, pull out both L-shaped pins and twist clockwise. Lower the front hitch so that the transport locking pin disengages. Lift the snowblower onto the hitch so the yellow pins sit in the cradles. Rotate the L-pins counterclockwise so they lock into place. Verify that both L-shaped pins are fully engaged with the snowblower housing. If both L-pins are not fully engaged, engage them by raising the snowblower housing slightly. Raise the snowblower to transport position so that the locking pin engages. Lastly, we will install the chute control. Check to make sure everything works properly. Now we're ready to tackle the winter season. To purchase parts, attachments, and implements, visit your local John Deere dealer or visit jdparts.deere.com. Thank you for choosing John Deere.